listen, I swear! <sighs> hey, people of the interweb. I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Five Days of Stranger. <sighs> we are trapped inside here because this bitch tit face thinks we did something that I'm pretty damn sure we didn't. Or, kind of seems like we did. I, guess. I don't even know. What have you done with my tie? We asked that last time. Where's Jim? That had multiple options. Where's Jim? What do you want to know? So you could track him down and kill him? No. I know I've said this one. If you left him alone, he's already dead. Shut up! The real killer is still out there. He could be creeping up on you even as we speak. I said shut up! Wow. Simone, what do you want now? <laughs> shut up! Simone, oh my god! <laughs> it was Jim's idea. Oh, whoops, 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 that was... fuck. I'm gonna talk to the floor now. Hey, floor, how's it going? Uh, where's Jim? Where's Jim? What do you want to know? Blah, blah, fuck you. Uh, you could be in terrible danger. I know. Until the police have you handcuffed, we all are. Excuse you, I didn't do shit. What do you want now? You're making a terrible mistake. I think there were multiple versions of this one. Oh, am I? Why is that? I know I said this one. This is the only one I haven't said. The real killer is still on the loose. Oh, sure. I suppose they knocked you out. Dressed you in their clothes. Put the machete in your hand. And cleverly hid while we discovered you. Something like that. Oh, please. Okay. Simone, what do you want now? I think the only one I haven't done is this one. What makes you think I killed Philip, anyway? Oh, well, let me see. First, Jim and I are attacked by some huge guy in a welding mask and apron with a machete, but manage to get away. Then we come into the kitchen and find a huge guy in a welding mask and apron unsus unconscious next to Philip's corpse. And when we took the masks off, lo and behold, it's you. Look. You've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, then, let's hear your version. <laughs> Phil did it first! I never liked him, but really? Phil tried to kill me first! Don't matter, if you're attacking them, they're not gonna believe that. I was possessed, that's the only one that would go anywhere. I was possessed by the ghost. Oh, now that impresses me. Did you think of that all by yourself? It's the truth, I swear. Shut up. Just shut up. Go to... Oh, God. Go touch the idol. My ultimate goal was to warn them, but I'm just like, you know what, fuck you. Go touch the idol. Go touch it. It's very cute. It's an adorable little idol. Just go touch it. It's <laughs> Touching things is so fun. <laughs> That's what she said. Go have a look in the basement. That one might trigger her. It would be one of these two. I doubt it would be the third one. Go have a look in the basement. Just go have a look in the basement. There's two corpses down there, Sir Roderick and Matthew Defoe. And take a look through those books I was carrying. There's a ghost here, I swear. Trebby. I am not going to let you drag me into your lunatic fantasy. Just keep your mouth shut. Well, that wasn't right. It definitely was that last one, though. Blah, 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 blah. I was possessed. Blah, 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 blah. Go touch the idol. La. What a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Go and check some stupid idol, leaving you conveniently unguarded. Maybe I'll save that for plan B. 
Go figure. What do you want now? What makes you think it can blah blah? You already heard this. Oh, now that blah blah blah. I've heard that. It possessed me just like it. Okay. It did when I killed AJ. What are you talking about now? The ghost. It talks to me late at night when no one else can hear. Trying to make me do things, evil things. Shut up! It never leaves me alone. I can't sleep. Then I have the blackouts. I'll wake up with blood all over me in an unfamiliar place. It's happened so many times now I can't count them. Shut up! Kill AJ. Kill Philip. Kill everyone. It wouldn't leave me alone. I'm warning you. It's talking to me right now. Kill Simone. Somehow. Uh, so that was the right option. Okay. Um. I still think uh, all these point, they're like equally pointing towards yes and no, so I'm like. Ask the, let's, 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 let's ask the floor. Because apparently I like talking to my floor. Hey floor, what should I do? <laughs> no, nothing? Uh, okay. Uh, let's... Maybe touching random thing. No. I'm just going to keep asking the floor. Hey floor, one, two, or three? Three? Okay. I still think I can get rid of the voice with your help. My help? If you'll just let me out of here, of course. You can help me exercise. There's probably some stuff in the library about... No way! You really think I'm that stupid? There's no ghost, it's just you. You and your insanity. Floor, you led me astray! Jeez. Alright, I missed that last one, but go ahead and read it. God damn it, Floor. Simone? Blah, blah. So it's definitely this one. Blah, blah. Glad I read all of them beforehand, though. <laughs> Again, it's definitely not Philip trying to kill me first. It's definitely the second one. Blah, 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 blah. Definitely the third one. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. So. Pushing. This would definitely. This. The second one, wouldn't it? No? You don't think it's the second one, Floor? Ah, fine. We'll go with the first one. If you're right, I'll give you a coffee. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't do it. It'll make a mess of you. It's talking to me right now. Uh, it's saying, kill the bitch. Wow. That's exactly what I predicted. You can break the window, kill the rotten bitch. Shut up! Keep away from me! Okay. Again, you were wrong. I was right. It's the second one. Fuck you, Floor. <laughs> so, fifth one. Spam. Second one. Sp oh, nice. Third one. <laughs> and second one, Floor. I'm delirious with guilt most of the time. I can see the face of every poor innocent I've killed every time I close my eyes. Most evenings I cry so hard I vomit. Sometimes I just want the nightmare to end. If death came right now, I'd welcome it. Oh, God. Simone, let me have my tie back. Your tie? Please. Oh, to hell with it. Have it, you psycho. That was the right C4? God! I ain't trusting you again. If I ever have a conversation, I'm not asking the floor one. Just... <laughs> don't... If you have a conversation, don't trust your floor. <laughs> See the demonstrate. This demonstrates the importance of forethought. 
or trial and error so many freaking times that it's ridiculous. All right, use. Wait, where's my tie? Is this the tie? That's a lock. Pick. Use the lock. Pick. You are a fucking idiot, Simone. There we go. Unlocked. And now, Simone, watch as I break my way out of here. Bitch! Wait, what the fuck? I've got to get her and Jim to believe me about the idol. Uh, what the hell happened to Simone? She probably knew the thing was on the back, too, didn't she? She probably... Is, is AJ still down here, actually? Hello? Yeah, AJ's still here. Okay, you know what? I'm I, I'm a go. Uh, okay. Hey, floor. Uh, do you? Where do you think they are? No, I doubt they'd be in the basement. <laughs> I'm relying on my floor to give me all the. Hi. Sorry. Sorry, Philip. Hey. Why do I get the feeling that was a lie? To oh, Matthew and Sir Roderick. I'm a go. What the fuck is that? Portrait of a skeleton in a bloodstained safari suit. Plaque reads Sir Roderick Defoe. So that's the him I just saw. Okay. Cool. Floor, what should I do? Take it? No! Don't trust your floor with anything. Unless you're walking on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, this will allow me to watch TV on day four, at least. Defoe Manor, the luxurious country home for a respectable artist or something, or the eerie home of a dark, ineffable secret. We have so many people discover it, disappeared around that. What did happen to Sir Roderick Defoe and his teenage son? Is there really some kind of ghostly horror lurking in the basement? All this and more on The Haunting of Defoe Manor. Tonight at 9, only on BBC 2. Now, well, thanks for telling me something. I, when I first read Sofa, I, I read Soda. Is that weird? <laughs> That's a giant soda. Alright, onward. Uh, okay, so this was put back up. Uh, what do I do? I mean, they've got to be somewhere around here, but... There's got to be a way where you can grasp the idol without actually touching it. Where are AJ and Simone? In the library? Nope. Actually, they'd probably be hiding for me, to be honest. I doubt they'd want to reveal themselves. Nope. Hello? Nope. Where are they? No one in here either. Wait a minute, what? Where the hell is everyone? Truly! Hi! Simone, for you. I know you didn't really kill Philip and a or AJ. You do? I figured you were lying to get me away from the shed. I saw him again. Who? The killer. The guy in the welding mask. I spotted him downstairs. But he didn't see me. And I can't find Jim anywhere. 
Simone, you have to listen to me. The ghost. Oh, shut up about your ghost. This isn't a ghost. It's a regular flesh and blood psycho. Speak of the devil. Yee! <laughs> Do something! Wait. Fall! Oh my god! Jill? Day five. How is he? He's awake. He's fine. Doesn't remember anything, just like I didn't. Look, I only sort of half believe this possession thing right now. But in the absence of a better suggestion, I'm, I guess I'm going along with it. Have you been going over those books I was carrying? Yeah, and some texts on the occult. Apparently, if we want to destroy this thing, we have to get the spirit back to its old body. That'll make it something. It'd still be dangerous. We have to find the body first. And to do that, we have to know who the ghost is. I've been thinking about this, and I have a fairly workable theory. Yes, I have a couple of ideas about it myself. Right. Well, the ghost is something to do with the disappearances of Roderick and Matthew Defoe, right? The deaths and disappearances all started after that. Agreed. So, what do you think? Huh. Four, what do you think? Two? Again? Well, now you're saying two? I think Sir Roderick had more than one son. Actually, you might be right about that. Yes. Because of what I read in Sir Roderick's diary. Exactly. He makes references to some monster he helped create, and he doesn't mean Matthew. And Matthew talks about another boy in the house, a boy behind the kitchen door. Those manacles indicate that someone was kept imprisoned in the basement. Where do you think the other's son? I want to hear what you think. Um... Actually... I'm not even going to ask the floor this. I think Belinda gave birth to twins. I'm pretty sure I've already said this. I think Belinda Defoe gave birth to twins. I agree with that. I found Belinda's death certificate. She died about 20 minutes after Matthew was already out. I think it was the second son that she did her in. That did her in. Sir Roderick was practically insane with grief. Literally. Blamed the poor kid for her death, kept him locked in the basement, refused to even acknowledge its existence. Can you imagine what that must have been like for the boy? Growing up in a filthy grotto, like some kind of animal, given no education, no love? The boy would be completely retarded and insane. He probably couldn't tell the difference between the pers one person and another. That's why he kills absolutely everyone who enters the house. He thinks they're all Sir Roderick, come to torment him some more. But what happened on that day fifteen years later, when Sir Roderick and Matthew disappeared? He found their corpses in the basement, so they were obviously murdered. Question is, how and why? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. But I need to turn this stupid thing off again. I suck at remembering to turn that thing off. Um... Four, what do you think? Four? <laughs> of course you don't. Alright, I'm not asking you anything else. Uh, maybe someone found out about him and killed Sir Roderick. No. Well, if you base it off of... Base it off of the books, I hear banging from my ceiling and it's weird. Sir Roderick went mad and tried to kill him. He did. Yes. Remember in Sir Roderick's diary in the last entry? He talks about destroying the monster. He must have gotten really drunk, and it being the anniversary of Belinda's death didn't help. He went down he went down to the basement and beat the poor kid to death. Half to death. 
Matthew found the body afterwards and tried to bandage him up. Matthew wasn't the sharpest tool in the box. His brother lived long enough, long enough to get a mask and machete and kill, and to kill both his father and Matthew. Then he what he must have okay something else. Jesus, and we are going to try to destroy his ghost. None of anything that happened to him is his own fault. What little mind he had is no more. All he has now is kill. If we don't kill him, he'll kill us. There is no reasoning with him. I suppose you're right. It's very sad, really. What will you do now? I'm going to find his body. Then I'm going to figure out how to bring his soul back to it and destroy him. Well, let me know if I can be of help. I will. Good luck. Thanks. Alright, see ya. Took a lot of evidence for her to finally fucking believe me on that. Jeez. Anyway, we're actually going to do that next time. In any case, uh, that, so I guess, yeah, uh, don't, don't trust the floor. <laughs> don't, lesson learned from this episode, don't trust your floor on things. <laughs> Stupid goddamn floor. Anyway, I am going to leave this episode here. <laughs> In any case, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!